Hey, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're gonna talk about what are the safe temperatures to run your G DDR6X GPUs at. So just in case you're not familiar, GDDR6X is a memory type that is used inside of certain 30 series NVIDIA graphics cards. And those cards are the RTX 3070 Ti, 3080, 3080 Ti, and finally RTX 3090. They use special memory different than the rest of the 30 series to give increased performance. And the reason we've talked about this and run into this is because the memory on those cards gets so hot and it runs into issues when you're mining. When the 3080 and 3090 first came out, we were going nuts trying to figure this out because the GPU die temperatures, the only information we had at the time, looked really good. Yet, we noticed when the GPU was in a warm environment, we would lose hash rate and lose wattage off the GPU. Once the GPU cooled down, we would get hash rate and get wattage back and get back to mining at the right mega hash that we should. And later on, we got tools to help us see what was happening behind the scenes on those graphics cards so that we could figure out what was going on. And what was really happening is that the memory inside them was getting too hot and it was hitting 110 degrees Celsius and it would throttle. It would throttle to protect itself. And you can see that across all the GPUs. And so there's been a ton of different solutions out there from replacing thermal pads, adding thermal pads, adding fans, adding uh, heat sinks on the back of the graphics cards to just help solve this issue. But the question has still remained is, even if we get it below that 110 degrees so we get full hash rate just over time like what are the safe temperatures to mine and to use these graphics cards at that have that gddr 6 x memory inside them so i decided to do some investigating see what kind of information i could find and in this video i'm going to share that with you and then i'll give some of my opinions on all of this at the end to get started here just to show i'm not lying to you you can see on nvidia's website you have the RTX 3070 Ti, comes with that GDDR6X memory, as well as the 3080 family here, that's the 80 Ti and the regular 80, and then the 3090 also coming with GDDR6X memory. And I've had a run in with this myself, right? This is my Gigabyte RTX 3080. I did a video on where I replaced the thermal pads inside the GPU, and that actually wound up dropping the memory temperatures almost 30 degrees Celsius, which was just incredible. Before I did that, the GPU would instantly thermal throttle, never get the full Ethereum hash rate. And so it was just an absolute must for me to do on this graphics card. And that is true for a lot of 3080s from different manufacturers, 3080 Ti's, even the 3070 Ti's that I picked up are gonna need it, uh, and as well as 3090s. And before we got any kind of info and was able to look at all this stuff ourselves, you know, there's articles on all of this. Um, Igor's lab wound up doing a lot of testing actually on it. I'll leave links to this below. Uh, and then Tom's Hardware picked up that story and added some more information around how NVIDIA chose to go with the 19 gigabit per second version of GDR6X instead of the faster 21 gigabit per second variant. And why why did they make that decision? Is it because of heat? And so there's a lot of articles out there around all this stuff. But for me, I just I really wanted to go to the source. And the source is Micron. That is who makes all of the GDR6X RAM modules that NVIDIA uses in its graphics cards. And so I found their product page for GDR6X and I'm like, let me see if I can find, you know, data sheets on this, like technical specs, just what can I find that might help me know where I should be running uh, this these cards at as far as how hot their RAM is. And so we're definitely in the right place. Here's GDR6X used in the 90 and the 80 first. And if we come down, First temperatures, right? I'm looking for temperatures and the first temperatures I see are the operating temperatures, which are zero degrees Celsius to 95 degrees Celsius slash 105 degrees Celsius. And I was just like confused about what that meant. If it was just zero C to 95 C, I would say, okay, that is the temperature that you should run the GPU in. That makes sense to me. But the addition of the plus 105 C still confuses you. I'm still not really sure. Is that the maximum? operating temperature, but you should keep it within zero to 95 C. Is this a temperature where damage could happen to the GPU? So I said, let me just look a little further uh, and investigate what that might mean. And so that led me to the data sheet for GDR6X RAM. And it gave me a little more info. You can see down here, 
it's that same range, but it's added TC. So TC equals 0C to 95C slash 105C. So I was like, all right, well, what's TC? That sounds like maybe a sensor or some reading of temperature. Uh, let's figure out what that is. That led me to the technical note for the thermal applications uh, that's linked on their site. And in here, I scroll down, and this is the first time I get to see TC. And actually, what you're looking at here is a thermal resistance model. And this is the memory chip. And TC is pointing to the outside of the memory chip. And I was like, well, maybe there's a key. I could figure out what that is. And here it is. TC is temperature of case. That makes sense. This is the case of the RAM chip. So, okay. Um, what is Hardware Info 64 measuring? Is it measuring TC? So then I decided to take a look at that. Let's open that up. And if we open up Hardware Info 64 inside this computer right now, I do have an RTX 3070 Ti, which has GDR6X. So if you look here, memory junction temperature, and I'm gonna go over the info here and I'll read it to you. It says, this is the internal junction temperature measured inside the silicon, not the external case temperature. So higher values than usual T case are expected here. Thermal throttling starts around 110 C. So that very clearly is telling me that that is not TC. That is not the case temperature. That is the junction temperature inside the silicon. That's the center right there. All Everything's pointing to right there. So let's find out what TJ is. So scroll down to our key. TJ is the temperature at junction of the device. Typically the maximum temperature of the hottest die. There it is. So TJ is what Hardware Info 64 or your mining software, if it supports it, is measuring. It's measuring the memory junction temperature, which is actually the silicon inside the device, not TC. So then for our conversation, at least, like this stat doesn't mean anything to me because I don't have a measurement, at least that I know of, to measure the case temperature. I can only measure the junction temperature. And so what is the maximum junction temperature is still the question or what should I be running this at? So I looked further into this document and here we go. On the next page, it talks about junction temperature, which is our TJ, which is what Hardware Info 64 measures. And so I'm looking down and it has maximum junction temperatures, TJ max, and it will give the maximum junction temperature for the specific RAM type. So you see some older RAM here. And when we go down, we get to GDR5, GDR5X, and GDR6. And for those RAM types, it says 100 degrees is the maximum junction temperature. And then I was like, well, GDR6X has got to be on the next page. Let me just scroll to page four. And it's not there. And that's it's just not there. And that was a bum out. And there's that's it. That's the dead end that I hit. I hit that dead end and now I have to make assumptions because that's all the information that I could find. And listen, if you know more and you can uh, reference it with a resource, please drop a comment in the comment section down below. I'll pin it so we can share it out with the community. But in Micron's own website, and they link to this technical note from their GDR6 product page, it doesn't include GDR6X for the maximum junction temperatures table. So for me, it's well, is it the same as the previous versions of RAM in that family? Is it the same 100, even though it doesn't thermal throttle till it hits 110? Or is that 110 the actual TJ Max? And that's why it thermal throttles when it hits 110. You know, you I don't know. I don't know because it's just not listed here, which is honestly just a super bummer. Super bummer. And um, that's really where this video wraps up is there isn't uh, anything that I could find that gave clear information at what the maximum operating temperature of TJ Max, the memory junction temperature inside the silicon is. And so I'll just tell you what I'm doing and you guys can please share with me down in the comment section below what you're doing and why. For me, 95 degrees Celsius is where I'd like to keep them under. You know, a couple of reasons I know that they throttle at 110, so that gives me 15 degrees before I get to that, that point. So it's a nice buffer. And then knowing that previous iterations of GDR of GDR were 100, whether that's 5, 5X, or 6, they uh, maximum was 100. I'm still below that. 
but I still don't know 100% if I'm in the right area. And when you're thinking about these expensive cards that you're buying and the longevity of them and the and what you're doing mining with them, the heat that they're generating, you just kind of want that added comfort that you're in the right operating ranges for them. And that's where, that's all the information that I have. That's where the trail ended. I would love if you know anything more and can reference it again, leave a comment in the comment section down below. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe for more content on GPU mining. Join my Discord if you'd like to chat. Link is in the description below. And as always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.